With the clay season done and dusted, we now go to the grass season, which is coming up over the next couple of weeks. One of the shorter seasons on the tour, of course, ending in Wimbledon at the end of uh, June or the start of July. Let's go have a look at the biggest names and what they're going to be playing over the next couple of weeks in preparation for Wimbledon. So let's start with week one for the WTA. And I've picked four of the biggest names on the tour with Sviantec, Sabalenka, Rabakina, and Jabir. None of them are actually playing this week, which is officially the first week of the grass season. So they're all absent this week. Going into next week, which is week two, Sviantec is not playing. But the other three are actually playing the Berlin Open, which is a 500 event, so a big event on the WTA in preparation for Wimbledon. Sviantec won't be there, but a lot of big names will be, including Sabalenka, Rabakina and Jabir. In the third week of preparations for Wimbledon, Sviantec's actually playing a 250 event in Badenburg. Sabalenka won't be playing at all, so she'll get a rest before Wimbledon. And then both Jabir and Rabakina are playing in Eastbourne as a final preparation. Of course, week four is when Wimbledon is. So Sviantec only playing one grass court event, which is actually one more than last year, because last year she went straight from the French Open to Wimbledon. Sabalenka only playing one event as well, whereas the other two big names are actually playing a couple of events before Wimbledon. Jumping over the men's side now, and we've got Djokovic, Elkarez, Medvedev, and Rude. The only player playing this week is actually Medvedev in the Netherlands at the Libema Open. So Djokovic having a week off, Rude having a week off after making the final of the French. And of course, Alcaraz also taking a week off after making the semis. Week two, Djokovic missing that one as well. But at Queen's Club at the Cinch Championships, Alcaraz will be playing on the grass, which he didn't get preparation last year in terms of grass season. So that'll be interesting to see him play an official grass court tournament before Wimbledon this year. And then both Rude and Medvedev are playing in Halle for week two. And then in week three, Djokovic not playing either. So he's not playing any matches officially between the French and Wimbledon. Medvedev also not playing in the final week before Wimbledon. But Elkris and Ruud are both playing an exhibition event, the Giorgio Armani Tennis Classic, which is something they both played last year. So no official preparation there. It's just kind of a little bit of fun before Wimbledon. Of course, week four is Wimbledon. But very interested to see that Djokovic not playing any preparation before Wimbledon. Did the same thing last year, won the whole thing. So maybe he doesn't need to have a preparation, whereas all the other guys especially going from the clay to the grass, need those extra matches. So there you have it. Some of the big names that are playing over the grass season and some of them that are not playing until Wimbledon. Uh, Djokovic not playing again at all before Wimbledon and he seems to win anyway, so it doesn't really matter. There's plenty of other names that are playing this week, next week, and the week after. Guys like Sidzi Pass are playing this week. Rublev's got matches coming up in the next couple of weeks. Hashinov as well, who played well at the French Open. And then you've got other players like Hadad Meyer, Mukova, all playing as well over the next couple of weeks to get prepared for Wimbledon. But let me know down in the comments below. Do you think Djokovic not playing Wimbledon preparation tournaments will affect him? I mean, it's never affected him before, but what about someone like an Alcaraz? who didn't play great at Wimbledon last year. He did have a bit of a struggle in the first round. He didn't play any preparation. He actually is having some preparation 